Okay, in this lesson, we're going to talk about mini mapping the features on our Oakboard uh, Floor Vista to Taz Lite and Taz Pro in Ableton Live. Now, uh, in our previous lesson, we talked about just basic MIDI mappings with this foot controller, which again, it's it's very valid to do that. It works really well. You don't have to have Taz Lite or Taz Pro. Um, but I wanna show you the secret sauce, the, the, the magic stuff to make this screen on our controller work we have to have at least Taz Lite or Taz Pro. It is worth mentioning what's really cool when you buy this MIDI controller, Jeff does throw in a copy of Taz Pro, uh, which makes us uh, an even better bargain than it already was. So I have my MIDI controller connected via USB. It's already pre-configured in Ableton Live. It's ready to go. Um, let's add in Taz Lite. So I'm gonna go up here to this folder I've got Taz Lite added here, and I'm gonna drop this on my master track here. Now, while that's loading, it's worth mentioning um, Taz Lite, uh, Taz Pro, require that you have um, uh, Ableton Live Suite, or you've at least purchased Max for Live as an add-on to intro or standard in order to use this plugin. It's created and developed in Max for Live. And I believe you also have to, uh, this is only compatible with Mac OS, at least at the moment. Uh, so let's go back into Ableton Live. I've got Taz Lite loaded in here. Um, I am in Arrangement View. Let's clear out our Back to Arrangement. I wanna just add some names here. So I'm gonna do Command R to rename. We'll do an asterisk and we'll do song one. And then let's go here, asterisk, and we'll do song two. And we'll go to three, asterisk, and song three. So obviously highly creative song names here. Now, as I enter those in, you see them, them pop up here on Taz Lite, uh, which is which is really, really great. And we have separate um, Taz Lite and Taz Pro courses where we dive into the features of those. This is primarily how do we connect our MIDI controller to uh, those devices. Now, let's look at our controller here, and it's probably hard to see because the glare, but it's gonna tell us what to do. Add Taz to set. Number one, we did that. Number two, MIDI map buttons, okay? So now I have to MIDI map my buttons. So how do we do this? Go back in Ableton Live to Command M, uh, just like we're used to. I'm gonna delete our previous mappings, okay? I'm gonna click play here on this play button, and I'm gonna tap play on my MIDI controller, okay? So play is now mapped, you can see that here. I'm gonna go through the rest of these. Press stop, okay? Previous, we'll click previous on the device, and then next we'll click next on the device, okay? So if you look here, all of that is mapped. Let's hit Command M to get out of that. Uh, and we're almost there. Now, final thing, let's look at our list here. Mini map buttons, we need to triple click stop. Now, uh, if you're like me, you're, well, you're probably smarter than me. But uh, if you're like me, I was confused when I saw this. Do I click stop here? Do I click stop uh, over in Ableton Live? Like, do I triple click here? What do I do? Well, uh, obviously you're smarter than I am, but in case you're not sure, we're gonna triple click this stop button on the actual device itself. So I'm gonna turn this so we can see this. Let's do this three times, one, two, three. Okay, and we're gonna wait just a second for it to link up with our set list. And then you'll see Taz Lite 2.1 connected. We see song one, song two. Now where's song three? Let's press next here. That's gonna go song two, song three, it's selected. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press play in a second, but let's show you Ableton Live, press play, and you see it starts right there on song three. Now it's worth mentioning the process with Taz Pro is exactly the same uh, same process. So if I go in here, I click Taz Lite, let's delete it. Let's drop in Taz Pro. Yeah, I'm gonna drop that in my master set. I'm actually going to, uh, for the sake of keeping this in sync, disconnect my MIDI controller just for a moment and let's reconnect it because we're going to reestablish this link. Okay, between these two. So that's gonna boot up. Uh, now with Taz Pro, we uh, already have, have uh, chosen our locators here, we've named them. So let's do Command M, let's click play. We're gonna click play on our MIDI controller to map that, stop to map it, previous to map it, and then finally next to map it. And then again, we need to sync this up. So I'm gonna get out of uh, MIDI map mode here. Then I'm gonna triple click stop, one, two, three. Okay, we're waiting for link and in a second, this is gonna flip over and we'll see that it's connected to Taz Pro 2.1. So that's a look at how we can use our Oakboard Floor Vista with Taz Lite or Taz Pro. 
this is an incredible, incredible solution. You have your set list at your feet. Um, as you navigate and go previous or next, you see that update on the screen in front of you. And again, I think this makes it the perfect MIDI foot controller, um, especially if your computer is gonna be a distance away from you because you can see your entire set at your feet.